Hello and welcome to Wandering Wanda. I'm Ariel. We are here at Las Caracas. Caracas? Caracas? I can never pronounce this place. The KOA Park here. They don't have that many 50, 50 feet and it's barely 50 feet. It's exactly 50 feet, mate. With it hitched up, it's 50 feet. So you've got to play Tetris before you unhook. If you want to hook up the night before so you're not blocking the road. It's wonderful. Every space here that's a pull through has these concrete pads. And if you set your wheels on the concrete pad, you are level left and right. And they, hit, they have it for the smaller ones. I don't know how long those are, 30, maybe 30 feet. But I reserved the 50. Starlink is happy, it's facing north. Actually, it's not north. North is, it's facing this way. And north is actually over there. So maybe it's not magnetic north. Polar north? Oh, I don't know. Anyway, it's a lovely space. There's no dirt. Everything is this pea gravel. It's wonderful. So let me show you the hookup. There is something I do find interesting here. The water is on the other, literally on the other space. So it's kind of protruding. So water in, water out. Good water pressure. Hello. Good. Good water pressure. Again, the only thing that I find curious, I, I'm fine with it, is the water's way, way, way over there at the other space. We're at site 68. And actually, I've never been down to the restroom or laundry because it's down the hill. And I've got to climb up this steep hill in order to get back to the site. They do have premium sites here but they're all back in. It's lovely, it's all back in. Every single one is a back in. Granted, there is a magnificent view of, I don't know what mountains these are, but it's gorgeous. We're gonna go to White Sands National Park, which is over there somewhere. But let me show you the, the premium sites really nice this one this one again if you get on the pads you're leveled left and right this one's got a barbecue fire pit nice table whereas I have just a normal picnic table and this is when I wish I could I knew how to back up because there are sites on that side of the park where it's down it's straight down we're on a hill however we're on the bluff side of the hill so you back in and you've got this magnificent view of the valley this is one of the very few times actually this is probably only the second site where I wish I knew how to back up first one being at the spit in Homer Alaska and this is secondary because of the magnificent view that I would get from the dining area from the back window even here the view is absolutely magnificent so even these premium sites I wouldn't mind knowing how to back up but again all the other places <laughs> I don't need to back up. Give me a pull through. I have yet to see another view like this one. Okay, nice shower. Nice and the water got really hot. So 
got to dial it down <laughs> to keep it warm. Good water pressure and it was clean. Good morning. We are at the Chamazel National Memorial. It's here in the border of the United States and Mexico. To be quite frank, I was kind of hesitant to come here because it is literally right on the border. There is the border wall to Mexico. And I wasn't quite sure how the neighborhood was going to be coming here, but it was all toll road when I got off the 10 freeway. And then it's exit 59 and it's just fine. Okay, we are in El Paso, Texas. The Chazamel Treaty of 1963 was a milestone in diplomatic relations between Mexico and the United States resulting in a peaceful settlement of a century-long boundary dispute between the neighboring countries. The memorial celebrates the cultural the memorial celebrates the culture of the borderlands. All right, go to visitor center and take a look. Hello. Visitor center is yes. open, right? So you're on your, uh, it's going to be on your left. Okay. And you have these shirts by chance? Uh, we don't. We, we have don't. some that are uh, assigned to the uh, to the park, but it's a different design. Design. But not oh, that, yeah. Sorry. I like these shirts. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Thank you, sir. <laughs> For hundreds of miles. This is our second visit here to White Sands National Park in Almagardo, New Mexico at the northern end of the Chichiyaya Desert I completely butchered that lies a mountain ring valley called the Tolarasa Basin Raising from the heart of this basin are the glistening white sands of New Mexico. Great wave-like dunes of gypsum sand have engulfed 275 acres. Oh! Great wave-like dunes of gypsum. Let's start that over again. Great wave-like dunes of gypsum sand have engulfed 275 square miles of desert. Wow, 275 miles. Okay, we're, the last time I was here, there was the height of COVID, I'd stand in line, and the gift shop was not open. So hopefully the gift shop is open today, and we're just gonna go into the park and drive around again. It's a lovely park. If you haven't been here, I highly recommend coming here.
go barefoot. Uh, get up this dune. Uh, Not an option.
The flan is delicious. We are here in Mesala, and this is the town square. It's adorable. It's got all these little shops and restaurants around. And there's a Catholic church at the other end. And it looks like they're having some sort of booth thing here today. I'm just gonna walk around. We are gonna go to Nambi. I was there last night, and I saw an elongated bowl. That would, I thought about it, I slept on it. It would look good in the dining room table. So we are gonna go back there today. That's why we are here to go get it. <laughs> Good morning. 100% raw honey for my bees. Which one is this? all the flowers in this valley. Oh, wow. If you don't taste the flower in the honey, yes. it's not real. And they sell so many not real honeys in grocery stores. Yeah, you are so right. Sad to say. Each one's different. Different flower. I know. <laughs> I cover about three counties in New Mexico. How much are these? They're all the same price. Fifteen. Which, Fifteen. Oh, okay. Cotton tastes like cotton. It has a very, very, very slight taste of cinnamon. 
How is this one? It tastes, it has chili. Oh, really? Yes, sir. Absolutely. Okay. The chilies are good over fish, poultry. Oh, really? And the green, especially, is good over ham. Because the honey gives it a glaze, and there's just enough chili to let you know it's chili. Okay, what's the difference between the red and the green? The red and the green. Red, the red chili is like these, they're dried. Oh, okay. And the green chili is growing, it's, it's green, still on the vine. Okay, so that's a little bit more bitter. It All would right. be a little maybe. And the chipotle is very, very smoky. What I do, I take the jalapenos, I dry them with the pan wood to give it a real smoky flavor. Okay, you're costing me money here. <laughs> this one? Yeah. This one, okay. this one, and one more. <laughs> okay, all right. <laughs> now, this is a very, very mellow honey. No, we don't want mellow. Okay. This is very earthy, real strong honey. Okay. That's alfalfa. I sell a lot to the tea houses. Oh. If you drink matcha tea, that will balance the bitterness out of the matcha. It's really sweet then? Yes, sir. It's okay. very earthy, real earthy. Okay. okay. On to the bowl. Okay, there's the bowl. I do want to get. I'm not really sure how much it costs. Looks like it's $1.99. Yeah, that was good in the dining room. All right, we're having dinner or lunch here at Tide Delight, and probably gonna get two noodle dishes to go for dinner tonight and possibly dinner tomorrow. Salad with salad dressing on the side because I don't want that much salad dressing. And it comes with miso soup. I got Thai iced tea. And I think I got three or four meals. Okay, it's a lot of food. Pork fried rice. This is the noodles, beef, larb, and tom yum soup, shrimp. Everything so far that I've tasted is delicious. Oh, we're gonna need another one of these to go for dinner tomorrow night. 